Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you today. I want to determine the winner of the Brynite model T18 Artemis flashlight. I got to give you guys a quick apology in case you hear any wind noise. I'm sorry about that. It's a windy day. I'm trying to hunker down under this tree. So my apologies, guys. I'm trying not to have a bunch of wind noise. And also, before I get started, I want to say thank you to Bry Knight for sending this light out for me to give away to you guys. Secondly, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you out there that took the time to get your entries in on this flashlight giveaway. This flashlight giveaway was a big success. We had a lot of comments, we had some VRs, and a lot of great questions came through. I had just short of 300 entries. That's a lot for a flashlight giveaway, so thank you for Brian Knight, thank you for everybody out there watching that got involved. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm really curious who's going to win this flashlight. It's a fabulous flashlight. I'm going to select three people, a winner and two alternates. So let me go ahead and show you the list of people. And these are by order of as the comments came in. Okay, so we're going to start here with Bones Yard. You can see that he had five entries for questions and he has an additional five entries because he did a video response. So this is going to be the list of everybody that's entered into this giveaway, into this contest. So here's page one. We have a lot of entries. I have a total of ten pages of entries. Let's take a look at page two here. Now right on top my YouTube brother, you guys have seen him, Justin Wilson. He's went on many overnighters with me. The most recent one was the one out at the creek. He did the five day with me. That's Justin Wilson. He asked some questions. Anybody else there? Tina, she's always, always tuning in. Bella Boo, Miss Bella right there. She did some questions. Let's go to page three. Here's page three. So yeah, I was really happy with the amount of, of action or traction, I should say, that this contest got. Very, very good. Let's take a look at page four. James McIntyre, my fellow YouTube brother right there, starting off page four there. And this gentleman did a VR, so it was pretty cool. I had some VRs. I was looking back at my 15,000 subscriber contest giveaway and I had 20 VRs for that one. Crazy. So that's page four. Let's move forward to page five. Let you guys hopefully see your names there. Again, I'm, I'm sorry about the wind noise, guys. I'm trying my best to be out of the wind noise underneath this tree. I can feel the wind blowing and I hope it's not messing up the sound. Let's go to page six. Going down here, there's Kaylin Strain, good friend of mine. Fellow YouTuber. She's got a good channel. If you haven't seen her, she's pretty cool. Pretty cool to follow. Page seven, anyone? Let's go take a look at page seven. 
some of the questions that came through were very interesting questions. Let's go to page eight. Right down here is my brother Manlan121. He did a VR with some very interesting questions. If you haven't seen his VR, you gotta go check out Manlan121. My brother, man, Manlan, him, my other brother Bones Yard. These guys made me laugh my butt off in their VR. It was hilarious. So very, very funny. <laughs> And we we got involved. This is cool. Let's go to page nine. And the last page. Finally, we're there. Page ten. That's all the entries we have, 297 entries. Right here you can see I have three spots, winner, alternate, alternate. And then here I have some dates that I want to talk about before I close this video out. So I wrote them down so I don't forget. So 297 entries into this contest, wow, I'm, I'm so happy about that. Let's go here on my phone. We're going to open this random number generator. I'm going to type in 297. I'm going to hit the, the done button. And I'm going to hit that generate button a total of three times. I'm going to get a winner, alternate one, alternate two. Let's take a look and see who it is. Ready? Generate. Number 43. Okay. So in spot number one, we're going to put 43 here. 43. Let's do another one. Oops. Phone turned off. Oops. Come on. There we go. Ready? Let's do another one. Generate. Number 66. Who is 66? We're going to find out in a minute. So there's 66. Second one. Let's go for that last one. Okay, you guys ready? Whoops, I keep hitting the power button. Okay, so let's hit that generate one more time. Number 101, that is the third person. 101. Now we gotta go track these down and see who the winner is. Number 43, who is that? Number 43. No way. <laughs> you guys are going to like this. This is cool. So here we go. Number 43. <laughs> Putnut Land. So that is the winner. Number 43, the word win. Hut Nut Land. <laughs> send me an email. I know this video is not done yet, but send me an email. Jujitsu2000 at yahoo.com. You got 48 hours, two days. Okay, let's see who number 66 is. Who is the first alternate? Just in case Put Nut Land does not respond, number 66. Who is that? Joe. Williams. Congratulations, Joe. You are the first alternate. Alternate number one. Number 66, Joe Williams. Let me get back to this page 10 back here so I can write that down. Joe Williams. Okay, 
Now number 101, you are the second alternate. Number 101, let's find out who you are. What, another good dude. My brother, James McIntyre. Number 101, alternate two. James McIntyre. Congratulations, you three. Now I gotta tell you, the only reason that these alternates will come into play is if Putnut Land does not respond within 48 hours. If he responds, he's the winner. That's just the way it goes. Okay, now I'm gonna answer some questions. I'm gonna do two of the VRs, and then after the VRs, I'm gonna answer all those questions. Then I'm gonna answer both of the alternates questions, and I'm gonna save the very best for last. Putnut Land, the winner of the Brynight Artemis T18 flashlight. I'm gonna answer his questions at the very end of this video. So I got my phone here. I'm going to start with miscellaneous mitts. Question number one was, what are your thoughts on the current events? My thoughts are, this is an election year. There's a lot of people that are passionate about the left and a lot of people passionate about the right. And unfortunately, that causes division within our country. I think that some of the rioting and looting and stuff like that and the stealing and burning things down, that is not peaceful protesting. When you throw bricks and knock police officers unconscious, hitting them with bricks and throwing Molotov cocktails at them, ripping down historical monuments and burning things to the ground, that is not peaceful protest. I support our president on everything that he's doing and all I can say is whichever side that you're on, go vote. I think this is very important. Question number two is, will you take the cure even if it's mandatory? The cure, and I'm guessing that you're meaning uh, an immunization for COVID-19. Personally, no. I have, I don't want nothing to do with it. I read my Bible. I trust in what my Bible tells me and I don't want nothing to do with it. I think that all of this stuff is a big lie. That's just my opinion. Um, number three, what is your favorite prep item if you have one? Prep, meaning preparedness, right? My mind, getting my mind right into what might come or what might be or what we might see, I think that is extremely important. So getting my mind right, that's my best prep item right there is my mind. I think next to that would be a good source of food, rice and beans, water, stuff like that, medical supplies. But ultimately, you're not going nowhere. You're not driving this vehicle nowhere if you don't know where you're going in your mind. So number four, what piece of gear do you want the most? Piece of gear, well I would love some better camera equipment. Um, I just built that fabulous computer so I can video edit. Uh, maybe a good microphone. Um, I'm always into knives, I'm always into you know saws and tools and things like that, but as far as, back to the question, what piece of gear do you want the most? I, I pretty much have everything I need, so I don't really have any wants, I guess, if that answers your question. And question number five, what is your favorite food? Man, I gotta be honest with you, I like green chili, I like red chili, and I'm speaking Mexican food chili. I love the Southwest food, you know, enchiladas and tamales, and I, I just love Mexican food. That's definitely, no doubt about it, it's my favorite. That's my favorite food. So let's move on to the next VR. I got these ones written down. This is from Manland 121. It also includes Boneyard, 
and it also includes Wee Wee. So I'm going to kind of throw all these together and answer these questions. So question number one comes is one of them from Manland, and he says, "Can your current honey or sweetheart or squeeze kick your butt in jujitsu?" So can Miss Bella beat me in jujitsu? Well, <laughs> no, she can't. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm saying I've got 24 years of martial arts experience under my belt. I have been doing this a long time and it, it's nothing to discount her at all. It would never come to a fight between us. I love her. I would submit, I would uh, quit or whatever. It's never gonna come to that. So I don't have to think like that. But her skill set, I do play with her sometimes uh, about techniques and kind of play with, you know, little jujitsu games to try to give her some awareness of some things and to teach some techniques in the event, unfortunately, that she would ever be attacked. She would have some skills. But knowing her, she'd probably shoot you before you know, she would need jujitsu. So that's uh, just my opinion of that question. Number two, uh, this question is from Bones Yard and it says, why? Alone. What happened? You were like the perfect candidate for the show. What happened? What, what, what went down there? Well, when it comes to alone in the History Channel, I have signed contracts that are contracts that don't let me talk too much but what I will say is I went through uh, some of the casting process and I was not selected but I'm still continuing to try to get on the show it's about all I can say um, question number three uh, comes from Manland and he's referring to the army man wars where my daughter and I had a little plastic army man and we let the dogs eat it in a video. Now the truth of that, his question was, did the dogs actually poop out the plastic? <laughs> and the answer is no, because in the actual video, the dogs didn't eat the plastic. They actually ate dog treats. So they didn't eat plastic. We wouldn't let them do that. Um, the next question, number four, comes from um, Bones Yard. And his question is, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? 374 licks. Question number five from Wee Wee. Are you afraid? Are you naked? Or would you rather be naked and alone Naked and afraid, alone and naked. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I would be afraid to be naked. I would not be afraid to survive or to face elements or to try to make it 21 days on the show. The biggest factor that I would be uncomfortable with for two reasons would be in being naked. One reason, because I don't have no clothes on and I have a female partner and I have a beautiful woman at home that I love tremendously. And two, anytime you shed your clothing, that makes the survival situation harder because you don't have clothing. You know, one of the biggest factors that'll get you is hypothermia. When your body core temperature drops below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, you're, you're not in a good way. So, Having clothes, I, I would rather be clothed if I could. And then the, they threw in a bonus question from Manlan and Wee Wee, and they both kind of had the answer to the question, and it was in reference to the gaming or video editing computer that I built recently, the $1,500 budget uh, video editing computer. They were asking if I would give it away. No, I'm not going to give it away. I need it for my channel. I've been saving for that for a long time. However, I like that idea. I wish that at some point I could be in a position where I could do something like that. That would be amazing. I would build a solid computer and give it away. That'd be awesome. I would love to do something like that. So those are the questions of the VRs. Let me get to the questions now of the alternates. So we're going to start with Joe Williams. 
let me get here on the phone here so Joe Williams question number one and this is a good question what's the best survival knife and that's that's kind of a hard question because the way I think about knives and survival when you put those two words together any object that you can find that is going to be better than stone for cutting let's say a carcass open you're going to gut an animal or you're going to cut uh, uh, some rope or, or or something anything that's better than a stone tool is going to be the best knife you ever had out there because that's all you got you could take a small blade and if it's going to do the job for you that's the best blade in the world at that point it's going to keep you alive and it's going to keep you not having to use stone tools which is tremendously hard unless you trip and find yourself a big piece of obsidian and you start pressure flaking and, and napping that stuff down then you'd have a very sharp uh, primitive blade but honestly my EDC right here this is the SE Izula this knife is awesome this is again made by the SE company and this is 1095 high carbon steel it's my EDC it's lightweight and it's very functional and I use it all the time but to answer your question in a more direct way one of the best survival knives that I've found is this guy right here the Mora Garberg in a carbon steel blade this knife is fabulous it's got a sharp 90 degree spine it's carbon steel so it'll throw sparks the Condor Pterosaur was a good knife too and if you can't afford these higher priced ones just get a Mora Companion like a $13 knife get a carbon steel blade version you're gonna spend less than 15 bucks and that's a solid knife I would highly recommend that knife um, question number two what's our chances of surviving SHTF and then this comes down to an opinion and it's an opinion based on my my faith in God and my belief in that God is in control so my opinion of our chances of surviving an SHTF are extremely high God is at the helm God is in control and I feel like with that there's nothing that's gonna stop us whether we perish or whether we live whatever is meant to be is gonna be it is what it is I, I think that's just the best way to look at it um, the next question is would you pick me to win this giveaway <laughs> Joe that's a good question if I could do that if I could pick individuals to win contests I would pick every single one of them I don't do any favoritism on my contests I don't pull any shenanigans or anything like that they're fair they're straight up um, but I love everybody I really do um, the fourth question there's only four here how much paracord should I purchase 100 feet I would suggest getting a hundred feet of military grade paracord mil C 5040 revision H uh, three ply inner strands nylon cord and if you don't want to pay that high premium to get that uh, get you a good solid commercial grade paracord something like uh, Titan paracord is very good it's a little pricey but it's solid solid cord because if you're going to be dealing with any kind of emergency situation or survival you want good solid paracord I'd highly recommend Titan if you can't get that um, military grade so let's go to the next one which is my friend James McIntyre question number one how many flashlights do you own one i5t that's it no, I'm just kidding no I do flashlight reviews um, he he knows that I've been doing it this is something that I kind of fell into I didn't really think that I would get so excited about doing flashlights but I love doing those videos I don't know what it is about it but I just enjoy doing it and I really feel that the product that I deliver in these flashlight videos are very solid so 
I get a lot of sponsorships from companies. I get sponsored by Olight. I get sponsored by Thrunite. I get sponsored by WowTac and Sofern. Um, they're all solid lights. Uh, I don't know how many I own. I would say probably between 75 and 100 flashlights. I don't know. I have flashlights in every bag, every drawer, every vehicle. There's flashlights everywhere. I have them all over the place. Question number two is a hard one, but it's a good one. What is your absolute favorite flash light? Man, that's hard to say because these manufacturers are so competitive with each other that it, it's, it's like, which one's better, Ford, Chevy, Dodge? They're all running good. You know, these flashlights, you know, the, all the manufacturers that I just mentioned a, a minute ago, they're all solid. So this question, it really comes down to, would you rather have a light that throws the light a distance, or would you rather have a light that throws a flood, meaning a wide array of light? I like O lights because of the magnetic charging. I think the Seeker 2 Pro is one of the best lights that they make. For a floody style beam, um, they just released the, the Olight Warrior X Turbo, which is fantastic. If you want a thrower, it throws out that light a thousand meters. It's, it's really hard to choose one light. Um, this i5T that I have on my hip, this thing is awesome. That's my EDC. That goes everywhere I go. I have it with me almost every day, and it's just a solid light. But it's hard to answer that question. Question number three, when is your next overnighter? That's a good question too. I've been planning to get an overnighter based on the weather. I'm waiting for the weather. I'm waiting for inclement weather. I'm waiting for rain. Uh, here in the Southwest, we don't get rain that often. So I wanna go out when it's raining. When I was stationed in the Navy up in Bremerton, Washington, it was the opposite up there. It was always raining all the time and we were waiting for a day that the sun would shine. But here in the Southwest, it's the complete opposite. So I'm just waiting for a good day where there's gonna be rain in the forecast where I can go shoot my overnighter, probably within the next couple of days. Um, question number four, do you miss being in the Navy? Yes, I do. Getting out was one of the best and worst things I ever did. I missed my mom and we were very close and I got out and went home. And uh, looking back, you know, I wish I would have stayed. I wish I would have stayed because the Navy's a good thing. It really is. I, I've got a lot, some of my best memories in my life were when I was in the Navy. And question number five, what's your favorite camp meal? That one's kind of funny. It's one of the simplest meals that I know how to make. And that's the one where I did it with Justin when we went out and did the overnighter at the creek. We did, uh, I had like four cans. I had the Progresso, what do they call it? Uh, chicken pot pie. And then I put a can of green chili and some potatoes and I forget what else. But that meal, is one of the easiest meals to make and it's 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 awesome a can of chicken that that's one of my favorite meals to prepare I like co uh, cooking in Dutch ovens too even though I don't show that a lot Cornish game hens and chickens and stuff like that I like stuff like that um, but those are some of my favorite meals so let's move forward we're gonna answer the questions of the winner of the T18 Artemis flashlight. This is Putnut Land. How often do you get to go on adventures? I would say about once a week or something like that I go on my little adventures. For me to go out to the woods or something like that where I'm going to be filming videos, I try to plan those trips when I can film multiple videos on that trip because for me to get to the woods it's at least 40 miles one way sometimes 60 70 miles just one way depending on where I go so I try to plan those adventures when I can do a few things 
Number two, what's your favorite place that you've ever been? The country of Japan. Phenomenal. Not the big city, the country area, you know, the farmland and the, the country. That Japan, just their, their whole belief system, the way they act. Up north, in, uh, there's a place called Masawa. Beautiful place, man. That's a beautiful place to be. Their culture, the just the whole me being a martial artist and jujitsu comes from Japan originally. It actually came from India, but Japan is where it was really uh, done. But Japan is just uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite places to go. Love it. Hawaii is awesome too. Um, question number three, when did you start jujitsu? 1994. I've been doing jujitsu a long time. Question number four, do you think Bones Yard is a chef? Absolutely. Bones Yard can cook, man. I, there, don't let that guy fool you. He probably don't eat his own food, but others around him, they're eating. I think he can cook. I really do. If I ever got down there to visit that family, you know, to to go hang out with the boys and my brothers over there. Yes, I think he would feed me. Um, qu question number five. Do you like to fish? Yes, I do. I love to fish. I just don't show it a lot in my videos because the area closest to where I live, the only good fish in there, I mean, like trouts and bass, can't quite, can't quite catch them. There's a ton of bluegill and they bite at anything that moves. So you'll throw your line hoping for something and you'll catch a bluegill. So congratulations to Putnut Land, Joe Williams and James McIntyre. This is the way it works. Putnut Land, you got 48 hours from the time that this video that you're watching right now airs. If you don't respond, I'm going to select Joe Williams as the winner. If Joe, if you don't respond, then James McIntyre, you're you're the runner-up, man. So 48 hours, send me an email, jujitsu2000 at yahoo.com. I'm going to need your shipping information so that I can get this flashlight, this T18 Artemis, sent out to you. I'm very excited about this giveaway. This is so cool. And again, thank you to everybody that got involved. Now, when it comes to these dates, September 7th, 2020. You guys are probably wondering what is, why do I have that date written down? That day I am going to be live on a live stream with Van Vida Travels. She reached out to me, as, she's a woman from Canada. Her son graduated school, got out, went to college, so she's an empty nester. She bought an ambulance and her channel's about living outside of that ambulance and, and just enjoying life while she's young enough to do so. But she reached out to me and asked if I would do a interview with her on her channel, do a live stream, and I said yes. So September 7th, go over to Van Vita Travel's channel. I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can come see us on that live stream. I'll ask for her blessing. Uh, if, if I can get the video and I'll post it on my channel as well. Um, I have no idea what we're going to talk about or how long we're going to talk, but feel free to chime in. The next date is September 11th, 2020. Now, just like Van Vita, her son left and she's empty nest. I kind of am going through the same thing. My daughter graduated high school. She graduated in white top 10% of her class. She was like number 10, <laughs> but still she's in white and I was, I was so happy. But with the COVID thing, she didn't even get to walk at graduation. They didn't even have one. How many generations have passed, you know, on to the next that, you know, to be that generation of kids that doesn't even get to graduate. That's crazy. Anyway, long story short, September 11th, my daughter enlisted in the Navy and she's gonna graduate boot camp September 11th. So just right around the corner here, she's almost done with boot camp. So proud of her. I miss her, I love her. Can't wait to see her. I don't know if they're gonna let us do any uh, um, 
people showing up for graduation with all this COVID stuff? The original answer right now is no. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but yeah, that's what September 11th is about. And October 2020. October 2020. So the SE Knife Company. I got my SE Azula right here. This company. Okay. They make fabulous knives. One of their representatives is a good friend of mine. And I noticed that he posted on social media that he was looking for a location to host a wilderness survival uh, class for Essie and I reached out to him and I said hey bro I got some land you're welcome to do your class on my land out here for the Essie company so he came out and we hung out for a day on my land we practiced some skills and stuff he's a good friend and long story short him and Essie, they decided to choose my location and myself to host the survival uh, training class for Essie. That's going to be in October. Now, it was kind of a hush-hush deal for about two years because we were trying to figure out the logistics of everything and getting everything. And there was no information that was out to the public. It was We didn't even know if the thing was going to go or not. But it went, and as soon as it went public, the thing sold out immediately. So we're fully booked. Uh, this morning, actually, I got a, a text from my friend, the guy that's representative of Essie. He said, hey, feel free to speak up if you, you know, when we're out here teaching, if you got something to say, you know, feel free to get involved in the conversation of things. You know, he knows that I have skill set so I felt very honored by that. And then another message came through. He said, in fact, do you have anything that you would be willing to teach? We'd love to have you instruct. So I was blown away. I threw a few ideas out there of things that I'd be willing to teach and things for them to chew on, you know, if they want me to teach a few things. So it looks like that's going to happen. I'm truly humbled. I've never taught wilderness survival to the public. Now, I've, I've obviously you guys have seen tons of videos and things that I've done on YouTube, but teaching the public something new as far as wilderness survival and me are concerned. But I've taught jujitsu for years. So teaching is not nothing new to me. It's just I'll be teaching something new. Not new to me, but I'm trying to put that out to the students. I know that it's going to go very well. I've full confidence that it's going to be awesome so that's all i have for this video today again congratulations putnut land for winning the artemis t18 it's a fabulous light man hope you enjoy it runs on that 21700 and again thank you to Knight. thank you to everybody that got involved i think this was a huge success and until next time have a beautiful day we'll see you then Bye for now. Stay tuned for my 150,000 subscriber contest. That giveaway is going to be one that you guys don't want to miss. And get your cameras ready because VRs are going to be important. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.